Hello there again. Guess what? I'm going to start another series. It's on Highlander. This uh, is a Jaguar CD game that is roughly based on the animated series Highlander. Not to be confused with the amazing motion picture of the same name. Or the regular series of Highlander. Or any other Highlander free, uh, franchise. Because they're totally going to run you through a bunch of full motion video, and some of them is just plain ripping right off the show. <laughs> <laughs> By full motion video, I mean they managed to animate this guy. So yes, we are going to play the Highlander. This is a game that was Seven centuries rather critically critical. Seven centuries Same since band. the Jeffeter swore to regain for man his lost wow. right to freedom. Straight from the cartoon the comes. Took the oath, all Here's an animation. Dominates the world. I see some soon an immortal will come to confront him. I his think the animation never shows any high pop on wow. He is the Highlander. So it's gonna be like Partly, part the way watching a cartoon of a very old cartoon of like the first episode of the cartoon. So it's essentially just trying to rip off the movie. And series. That amazing soundtrack though. It just totally ripped off the cartoon, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're back. Oh, wait, no. Loading. Yeah. Um, I just, that was like the intro that they run if you don't press any buttons. So now I press the button, it has to load. Ooh, and now you get to see a start game. Let's play it in Spanish. They could probably totally do that, but I think the animation should still be in English. Oh, lazy. You will just have to find out how to use the menus in Spanish. Oh, the Emerald City really went downhill. It's the slaves, Lord Cortez. There aren't enough of them. There aren't enough dwarves. find more wherever he can. Send him to the Highlands. Because the Highlands is the last place we'd ever go. <laughs> and I don't know what you are, but you are weird. He certainly finds the Highlands funny. I think he's supposed to be a jester. Where are we hunting today? My jester, weird. The Highlands, man. The Highlands. But Major, that's where the Dundees. Silence! Because apparently I've worked for this guy for so long, I still have a heart. Eternal power to Cortex. <laughs> but we've only enslaved everybody else but the Dundees. Why are we going to enslave this Dundees? I don't know. Hey guys, let's enslave the Dundees with all of our guns. It was nice of the Wizard of Oz to give us these green tanks. I guess. Go with their green uniforms. No, Quentin. You must not run away. But, but mother, coming. valuable life lesson. Quentin McLeod. McLeod, why are you calling me that? Because that's your true name. Because that was the name used in the Tell movie. Come, my son. Obey your mother. We boy. paid a lot for these come copyright fight. parts. If you dare, get rid of that woman. I'll take. I dropped on them though. The least here. important part of that conversation. Yeah. I appear to be just being a jerk for no particular reason. Um, nobody has his weapon secured on them at all times. This is the longest intro ever. No, no, you haven't played any other... Yeah, there's a lot of other games that have really long intros. I want to say Knights. The lessons where you sit there and you... Um, I think there's a number of Final Fantasy... Metal Gear Solid games that have rather long intros. No. And apparently, everybody can feel his pain. The Joker's displeased. Seven hundred years waiting for this moment. That was a rather long nap. Quite a long time, I have to say. His village and his life have been destroyed. Later with his in the cartoon. And his sister and clan with less his polygons. Quentin McLeod is alone. And by polygons, I mean less drawing. The way to rescue the Dundees and fulfill they stopped paying his destiny. No, they couldn't rip this off of the series. I think. There we go. Okay. Here's one of the reasons why this thing stinks. 
another reason. Okay. They, they immediately get you a guy who uh, you're supposed to beat up with your bare hands. A lot of people just die here because they don't have the slightest clue how to fight. You like quite literally have to learn how to fight like two seconds in. What the hell is this thing that's spinning in front of me? Well, that was some orders. This is some bread. That's a map of a village. Hey, look, this is a map of a village. Go back to the ham. Here's bread. It, it, awfully hammy looking bread. Oh, bust a groove. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out how to. <laughs> well, yeah, look. <laughs> I kind of accidentally did things. Investigate igloo. Hey, look! Here is a useless item. Why are you picking up this item? Because it's a thing. And if you use it, you get another animation. Short term time. Interesting that when you went to pick it up, like the camera was at completely the wrong angle to see it. Legolas, your woman. And we couldn't do this at the beginning, why? Because I was ready for my first soda break. I'm alive. I haven't much time left, Because we wanted to give you something useless, though, to carry around. Mother, I don't think there is any use for this to block it out. Just, you can constantly look at this clip over and over again. I think it's dibs on our goggles. You are no dandy. Well... There's no sign of her anywhere in this game, <laughs> other than these little animation things. And that locket that we picked up. They were too lazy to make the model. Also, you can't seem to pick up the swords off of the enemies. I don't know why. That was probably a pretty, bad, pretty lousy thing. And now she fades to black. That means she's dead. That's kid-friendly. <laughs> well... Every time you get near enough to the camera, it changes. Yeah, you hit the option button to get back to the uh, the uh, inventory. And I don't know why, but I can't seem to use the option button to exit, even though it says option exits. So I have to go to the bare hands hit C. Use. I'm going to use my bare hands. Okay. Loading. It's not like I have a choice. Lost. Whoops. Um, Heck, stop. Okay, so... The uh, C button allows you to save, but you have to use the option button to select the menu item to save the game. Yeah, that's what I would have done. Because <laughs> pressing the option button apparently allows you to redefine which buttons do what. Pressing the B button and the A button gives you different kinds of volume. The C button gives you an actual menu. Oh, so we let their pet dragon go and burn up the village again. And so we have to go through a bunch of useless fights. Really. Take a nap. Take a wooden stick. <laughs> There's absolutely nothing else in here other than a stick. Can I use the stick as a weapon? No. There's, a, there's literally four things you can use as a weapon in this game. One of them is hidden in the Fisky Pound. Can you poke things with the stick? Nope. It is that quite literally a key to the back gate. Of course. <laughs> uh, of course. So, yeah. Look at all these boxes I can't use. I'm trying to see if I can fight getting back there because it looks like they can get back there, but it can't get back there, so whatever. I guess there's nothing there. You choose the absolute wrong camera angle for you to navigate those boxes. Yeah, but all, all these backgrounds are pre rendered, so they can look a little more pretty than the normal backgrounds. Yeah, that really helps on the load time. Load. Okay. Loading again. And again. Three in a row. 
Yeah, they, they decided they wanted to give you as many angles as possible. Oh, and... Ooh. And apparently all you can do is easily kick this. But they pre-rendered it so that you can watch really prettily okay. as you kick it. Yes. And hilariously, you have to backtrack almost to the end of the game to get to this. Because the wooden stick won't open it up, because the wooden stick is apparently no too flimsy or something. You have to come back when you have a crowbar, which is towards the end of the game. Gordon Freeman would be able to take care of this in the beginning of the game. So yeah, there's a guy laying down on the job. On yeah. this side of the screen. Oh, there he is. Hey, guy. Bye. Yeah, um, I think we've got to pass this up, but the message says to lead people out the front so they can get hit into an ambush. So here's a hint. You don't go out the front. Uh, empty hut. This is probably where I found uh, either a stick or a piece of bread. <laughs> well, these huts look all the same, so I have no idea which ones I have been in so far. What are many of these huts has pizza in them? Right? One of the more annoying things is no matter how you enter or exit the hut, you're going to be always facing the same direction once you get zoned. Computationally lazy. So I've actually gotten this little weird loops where I when I held down the down button to go backwards too often. Wield the cheese, man. There's a bottle. No, but if I hit the down the mat back key too long. I end up like zoning backwards, forwards, backwards, backwards, backwards. And don't you just love how much music is involved with this? And this is a lovely hut. I just realized. Hi, guy. Oh. Hi there, dude. For some reason, I think I'm not supposed to be fighting him right now. No. Yeah, I don't think I'm supposed to be fighting him right now. I am your father. It's really hard to see what you're doing when you're there's a pole in the wall. <laughs> I know. Good job, guys. Yeah, the, the, the best move in this game is the leg sweep. It goes the furthest away. Have some cheese, rat. Unfortunately, I'm not very reliable in it yet because I haven't practiced enough. It's like being forward or something. He was just as confused by that pull as we were. Just stand in that direction and just let me keep punching you. Punch your back. Am <laughs> I just bending over wow. and hitting him? Oh, no, he knows you're there now. Have it. Oh. Yeah, that's gonna leave a mark. Yep. I probably should be leaving. Leaving any time second. Any second now. Oh, dude. Dude, dude. Oh, dear. Oh. Made a mess. Let's not watch this. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let's start that over. And where did I save last? That was near the hut, right? <laughs> Only got a sword sound. No. And there's no load game at the start menu. Starting menu doesn't have the ability to load a game, so you have to start a new game. Pause. Figure out where the heck that menu went. Uh, th there it is. <laughs> Load the game. Game oh, one. It. <laughs> there you go. Keep pressing the option button to confirm things in the menu rather than any other button because that cancels it out and gets you out of the menu. Oh, well, that's what was happening. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, uh, now we've got it loaded. You can save anywhere in the game, fortunately. So we've got like huts. I noticed a guard tower earlier and like we got like a fence. It's like Highlander, the concentration camp, the game. Yeah, well, the, the 
the idea behind the first section is to just get out of the village, really. Like, what are they guarding the village against? Uh, uh, apparently you. <laughs> <laughs> Any survivors must be hoarded, or, or not hoarded, uh, uh, what's the heck's the word? Herded? herded? Yeah, herded. There we go. Any survivors must be herded through the front gate so they can hit the ambush, is what the order said. So, this they're expecting people just, like, randomly to get up, and they're supposed to kill everybody. This village wasn't properly guarded against my stylish boots. Let's save the game again. Good idea. Because... Should always save the game again. I like the spinning move. Uh, I like the spinning dash, though. Not that's not overused enough. I think this game has taught me that I need to make an animated GIF of the spinning cheese. More cheese. More cheese. More cheese. No, no, war cheese. Hello! Oh, ah, we're apparently guarding the back gate. Punch. Okay, that... Yeah. <laughs> now let's watch an animation of how useless I am against trying to get the back gate open. First, <laughs> first the kicking of the, of the crate thing, and now the... You're just really useless, man. What I'm supposed to be doing here is... Opening back door gate with a stick with a stick. But I'm going to go through the, the, the village before we actually go through there because I'm a little concerned that I need. Why does it keep doing that animation? Uh, watch as I futilely move against this gate. See if I can get the thing to work. Where's my stick? Where's my stick? Oh crap, I forgot my stick. Aww. It wasn't in that save game, apparently. <sighs> now I have to go back into the village and find the one hut that happens to have a stick in it. Dejectedly, our hero walks away from the game. Skipping. Dejectedly. Not so dejectedly. Annoyedly. <laughs>